Now that I've rippled our look across the rest of the sequence, let's go ahead and take a look and see what happens. If at any time when you just put your look on and you realize that the shot is now way out of whack, it's okay, we can always go back to our balance layer, check to make sure that it was balanced correctly. If it wasn't, make adjustments and then move on. If it's still out of whack, that's what we're going to do next. We're going to start moving in and looking at secondaries, making corrections to make things feel the way that they should feel within our world. All right, so generally this looks pretty good. I think the problematic spots are what we expected. They're going to be the windows. Um, they're going to be the exposure change um, as the waitress goes to the cook and then back out to the counter right here. Again, let's check back against our hero, the same still that we pulled out in the very front. So she's feeling really underexposed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw a shadow key. I like to work underneath my balance sometimes when I'm trying to pull out details like this. Let's see if we can just bring her up. Looks like we're getting there. Shadows are feeling a bit false, um, so maybe we'll need to extend that key. Feather out a bit more. I'm going to go back to my balance layer and bring it down just a bit. And maybe now that saturation we added in our base layer can subside a little bit. We've got a better balance. There we go. Feels a little bit better. Then let's attack those highlights a little bit. It looks like there is some exposure out there. Um, I can bring down the entire shot and see what's out there. Just the highlights of the windows are gone. Again, I'm working underneath my layer six because I'd like to bring this back before our balance. Might be worth checking our guy in the window, see where his highlights are sitting. So we're feeling a little bit warm compared to him. Let's check against here. That warmth is feeling all right to me here. Um, she's maybe got a little bit too much saturation. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull a skin tone key real quick. Depending on your project, you might pull lots of skin keys, you might not. Uh, commercial work, most definitely. Movies and stuff, it could get a bit cumbersome. Um, long form, you wanna be able to replicate again um, with ease, and the more secondaries you add, um, the harder it is gonna be able to replicate that. Um, so just keep that in mind as you're building something up. If you can go back into your uh, base layer and make any kind of adjustment uh, globally that will keep you from doing a secondary, I would recommend it. All right, so we've got that secondary in the shadows and on the highlights, a little bit on our skin. And from here on out, it's just all secondaries. We're going to be doing uh, secondaries to address anything we might not have been able to address in the balance. Um, or any other secondaries that might accentuate our grade. So for example, windows or um, slight keys on something to accentuate maybe a badge or a screen or something like that. Um, but the bulk of the work is done. It's in the base grade and in our look. Um, again, you can always go back to your base grade if something's looking out of whack um, and check to make sure that indeed it is balanced and your look should fall on top of your base grade fairly easily. Um, and from there on out, it's just a quick adjustment of your balance, adding your secondaries, and you're good to go.